Okay, I lifted up this pot and look what's happening here. This ain't good. Okay, today's video comes courtesy of Connie Clark 9092. Thank you for leaving this very important question. Today, we're going to use the work chart, and we've got Fisker's pruners. Let's go down to the workbench and I'll show you what we're going to do. Okay, Connie asks, any hints for sharpening a curved garden clipper? This comes off of one of my videos where I was uh, demonstrating different kinds of sharpeners. A honing stone to a, a custom-made carbide wheel sharpener to a smith's. Here's a little pocket smith's and that's even for serrations. In comes the Fisker's rolling sharpener. And uh, it was actually before we landed on the work sharp, which we absolutely love and we recommend for everything. So garden clippers, I'm going to assume this is what you mean by garden clippers. A, uh, we would call them, uh, Connie's from Alberta, Canada. Maybe they just call them clippers in Canada. Albert Clipper, won't you go back home? Uh, down here in the U.S., uh, we call them pruners. Pruners, that's what that is. Anyway, I'm going to assume it's this. Keep in mind, there's a flat side and there's a, oh, this is the flat side. And then there's a beveled side. And this beveled side has a grand bevel and then a fine bevel here. And the best way um, I would use, it, for one thing, that double-edged or double-sided sharpener thing, the stone thing, that the other Fiskars thing, don't use it. It's not going to work. Uh, it's going to try to sharpen this side. And if you attempt to uh, make sharp the flat side on this one-sided bevel thing, uh, you'll destroy it. So don't do it. It relies on this flat side coming in, in contact with this edge right here, just like that. And what you want to do is make this side, uh, the cutting edge, as sharp as you possibly can. You can kind of see the beveling there. Hey, you caught me while I was uh, getting ready to make some dinner. But before I do that, I've got to sharpen my knife. I've got my trusty work sharp. Let's get down to it, shall we? There you go. Now I gotta go cut off the fat for my chicken. Hey, if you want a work sharp, use one of my links down below. Order yourself a work sharp. You can sharpen up all of your knives, including your kitchen knives. Very easy to use, very effective and uh, gets razor sharp, you might want to buy one. Use my link, it doesn't cost you any more, but it does help me out. Thank you. Now I've got my adjustable work sharp. I'm gonna use it this way. Here's the beveled edge, right there. I'm gonna turn it around and I'm gonna sharpen, uh, I'm gonna press the edge up against this here and sharpen it that way. This is gonna, use, this is gonna be a, a guide or a rest for me that I'm going to put that on and I'm going to, with my eyeball, I'm going to measure uh, that edge until it is on there, right in there, and I'm pretty sure. And you can see I can get all the way up inside of there. Okay, it's going to get loud. Cover your ears. Very, very sharp. Okay, proof is in the pudding. Yeah. Yeah, it's just gonna cut away. Let, let me show you yet another approach. 
This approach will require you to take this guide off, which is basically unscrew this right down here. Give it a turn, and then just kind of pry up. Boom, comes off. Put your uh, knife or scissors in a vise. Give this thing a rotate and use it like a grinder. Okay, with it clamped securely in a vise, basically take this edge, find and mate right up against it. Now it is variable speed, so you can go slow or you can go fast. I would recommend go slow. Now because the, the uh, uh, belt is flexible, it'll form to the shape as it is needed. There you go. While I'm at it, I'm going to sharpen my knife. It too is the Ken Onion Edition. <laughs> Home front. Yeah, Ken's a buddy of ours. All right, here we go. Wow. Oh, yes. Very sharp. All right, there you go. Nice, right? Nice and sharp. Be careful. You'll hurt yourself. All right, if you've never seen a work sharp in action, now you have. And uh, as they say, proof is in the pudding. It works well on these things. Just take your time. Remember, it's variable speed, this particular model. This is the Ken Onion edition, okay? And I recommend it because, well, it's the one I've got. You can kind of tell I'm uh, partial to WorkSharp. It does a lot of these cool things that the other version doesn't. The other one does knives beautifully, um, but this one does a whole bunch of other things. All right, if you're looking for a WorkSharp or if you're looking for something that's gonna sharpen your tools really, really well, I'm gonna put a link down below where you can get yourself a WorkSharp uh, knife sharpener, tool sharpener, and uh, just use my link, please. It'll help out the channel a lot and I would greatly appreciate it. That's all I got. I've got other videos. Don't forget, meet me at those other videos. I'll see you over there.